Cena. Um, live now? Alrighty, guys. So, uh, welcome to Aeon Gaming at the meta right now. Of course, we're having uh, some bit of a technical difficulties over at our original venue. We will, uh, I'll explain a bit while that's happening. But of course, guys, we're watching the Long Island Classic here on a happy Valentine's Day version of Aeon Ultimate. So, of course, we have uh, Stocktaker69 versus Jonathan Suarez. He is. Um, uh, these two, these two uh, play. Actually, I don't. I have not seen the two of these play like a while ago. This used to be like just grands or winners finals like every other week. So it's actually like pretty. So it's actually pretty interesting that like they're not. The two of them have not played for a while. Um, of course, Stock Taker, you know, bit on a bit of a little bit of a mental sl slump right now. But of course, uh, I promised him that I would paint him to be the hero because he actually pre pre prevented a double Yoshi uh, winners finals here. So. Uh, my, uh, part of my bias commentary coming into this, but you know, the man might be playing Palatena, but you know, we're not we're not trying to see double Yoshi as of right now. But um, the thing is with the thing is with Stock you know, he's taking a little bit of like a mental break. Uh, he took a bit of like a mental break after Orion. He took like a week or two off, and he came back um, just to play. He just came back to play friendlies, and I think he's just hitting that he's hitting the stone as hard as possible, like harder than I harder than before actually too. Um, of course, Suarez trying to prove also here trying to prove something with. Um, his new sponsorship with Lavender, of course. Um, uh, for, uh, he, he recently said goodbye to Mid-Tier Summit, of course. Uh, Shouts to Mav, if you're watching this. He um, And uh, right there, Mila got picked up by Lavender. So, you know, he's trying to flex the, the new uh, the new sponsor. I think it was like a month or two ago. And and Stockhater, of course. Both these players have just a lot of something to prove um, whether or not they uh, can... Both these players have, like, something to prove here just as a just on their own different accords, like whether or not they have their own story to create here. Um, but right now, of course, Stocktaker, usually a wolf a wolf villager player, has the the Palutena. So he's sticking to his three to his uh, three um, uh, characters. I know last time he was here, he decided to go for like mainly villager. But Suarez, of course, and, and Suarez going, uh, you know, Yoshi, tried and true. Sticking, towards, sticking to the Yoshi. Uh, back here, not going to take it because that, you know, that big dinosaur is very big. And, um, Okay. Um, but uh, going back to neutral here, just dash dancing, just trying to space something out here. Jared just hitting that fair button and uh, just trying to get something started here. I know up air, up air, up tilt to up air is going to take it, but up, uh, straight up air is going to hit Suarez. And now uh, you know, let's see if uh, let's see if Jared can get can tack on a little bit more percent. See if he can possibly lap it. Um, using that Nair, I know Nair has like been nerfed. 
Um, doesn't combo into itself as much. And Suarez using that uh, double jump armor to the best of his ability. The funny thing is, while I was, while uh, you know, Suarez was off stream, and he's just relaxing in the front of the area while we're watching the game, watching the stream that you're watching right now. Uh, uh, I guess he lost his double jump there, and um, I can hear a lot of like a bit of confusion from the crowd outside. He was saying just how much you know Yoshi cheats, saying he's the second most cheating character in the game. Um, and he's definitely taking advantage of that with the with that double jump armor. It is it's crazy to the very least. Um, of course, we have uh, our custom-made Valentine's Day edition of Smash Ultimate for, uh, from M. Blewett, guys. Man, give some major props to that man. He's having a, having, having a little bit of fun with Love is in the Air um, on PS2. Um, I think it says, like, number one cutie instead of, like, the, the current leader. Heartbroken. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you know, keep a, keep an eye out on the on that scoreboard in the background there. I'm just praying to God that all. And of course, we have the Aeon at the Meta logo in the center there. Man, this guy knows what he's doing. Love it. Um, so the biggest thing. So like, um, <clears throat> so going back into this, um, I think the biggest thing that like you know I think Suarez needs to work on is that um, uh, just don't get hit to, to a degree. Um, I'm kind of seeing like you know uh, stock just kind of swinging a lot, and uh, I know Suarez is definitely the more aggressive person of all of them. <laughs> um, and um, let's see, gets a side, gets a side B coming into this, um, and gets the back air. Not gonna take it though. That's a thick dinosaur. Oh my god! Fair coming to play. All right. So here, so here's where uh, Stock Digger actually like just excels on. It is the, it is when. Um, the opponent is on the ledge. His ledge trapping is legitimately one of the scariest things I've ever seen. He will, he always manages to swipe at least another 10, 20 percent. And if you're at 100, there's a good chance that you're gonna, you're not making it back. You're not making it. Uh, you're, you're going to see your next stock essentially. You're going to your next life. Um, Suarez is one of the, is of course just one of the biggest pressure players here. He, he forces people to making a lot of mistakes, and then, uh, that's where, and you know. Doesn't matter if it's a low-level player or a top-level player. He makes uh, Suarez makes that um, that push. He makes that pressure, and he makes you just start making mistakes essentially. So it's like I want to see defense more for a uh, stock taker, he, but he's just like more just I guess reactionary. He's more um, he just has a really quick reaction time. He knows like what he can use. And wow, the fair to back air mix-up doesn't gonna t isn't gonna take a great di from stock. And um, let's see if he can extend his lead even more. He's about to lap him in the in a percent. Oh no! He missed. He missed. Uh, positioned his uh, up B. All right, though. Gets the down tilt. 84%. Oh my God! Again, mirroring game one. But you know he's not out of this yet. Um, Stock, of course, doesn't want to end end like that. But I think he's going to be. Uh, he's just got to. I think Suarez. You know, he's just got to relax right now. Um, one of the biggest things, also along with the pressure, is that Suarez has this insane clutch factor. It doesn't real. It actually doesn't really matter if you if you're ahead of him. If you if you have the stock lead, because this man, this Yoshi, can legitimately just bring it back, and right now he has he has Palu in uh, he has stock in disadvantage, but just that Nair is just doing so much mileage, and again just jumping over, just trying to avoid. But but Stock Taker is now he's on the ledge, but now he's got he's reset the neutral essentially. He's in di stock is still in disadvantage. He has to get something started if he wants to keep his lead. He doesn't want to lose the stock just yet. Here comes the Nair. Um, Okay. 82% gets the Nair, 65% on Suarez. And, okay, good parry, but nothing off of it. Suarez just swinging for the fences here. He's swinging so much. Back air off stage. Explosive flare. Gets the F tilt. Again, look, notice this, like, it's like ledge trapping here. Um, gets, an, gets another F tilt. And down tilt, possibly. Okay, it's the back air. And the back throw. Here, sit down, man. All right, yeah, so we did, we did some mic swapping here. <laughs> yeah, we did some mic swapping because I just didn't want to feel like um, 
Um, just moving. Uh, wow, this microphone speakers are like weird. Yeah, it's like more like echoey on my end. Like, really? Well, okay. not echoey, echoey, but it's like, it's like I can hear hear like different like sound quality. So, you just walked in on like um, the uh, stock taker, the stock taker versus um Suarez. Two zero right now. Two zero. Yeah, looks yeah. like. Also, by the way, I'm Epo. You know, hopping on the mic. I could not make <laughs> could not make singles today, but no, I came through for some games. I'm like, you know what? Like, I haven't been on the mic in a while. Yeah, Time to hop oh, on, dude. You know? It's fun. It's fun. Like, it's like, it's like. <laughs> No, we're try it's, I'm it's, trying to talk tonight, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, plus along with that, we're in winners' finals. You know, all we got is losers' finals. Oh, no, losers' semis, I believe. And then losers' finals in the grands. Um, uh, I know we have a 45 man bracket. A lot of people got dates tonight, it seems like. Yeah, you know, very uh, small. And honestly, like, if, I, if I'm going to be completely transparent, you know, just looking at the bracket, you know, not as top heavy as a lot of the other animals. Oh, no, no. But, definitely. you know, still the talent here, undeniable. And, you know, we got winners' finals. We got two of uh, New York's finest, both on PR. You guys already know. And. I uh, just want to say, last night at meta, uh, it's like about a 30-man meta. It was actually a very, very stacked meta. Uh, these two fought in winners and grands, and I believe Suarez won 3-2 both times. So Jeez. right now, Stock Taker, though, he's up two games. That's looking really promising for him. And right now, 125%, man, this is this is looking really dominant. Oh, yeah, no. And what I was saying uh, while, uh, beforehand is that like Stock Taker's is ledge trapping is just the scariest thing possible. Like, you cannot breathe the moment you're on the ledge here. Like, And characters like Palutena his, and Wolf, like, just to say the very least, are like two of like, you know, some of the best ledge trapper characters, like other than like maybe Lucina. Don't quote me on that on chat. Quote me on that one chat room. But um he he usually swipes away like another ten percent, like the moment you're on the ledge. 10, 20 percent, and that means a lot, especially to a big character like Yoshi. You know, you're absolutely right. You know, Palutena is one of those characters that I've said this before, but she's obviously, you know, she's obviously an amazing character, but she doesn't really have like much of that like like immediate cheese factor, but at the same time, her tools are so oppressive. They cover a lot of space um, very quickly and they cover a lot of space for a lot of time. So if you can really get those moves out and you can really, you know, just kind of control the space around you, you could just kind of uh, do all these really amazing maneuvers. It looks like Stock Ticker, you know, right now doing that, he's kind of having a little bit of trouble finding uh, the kill, but you know, Palutena, those nerfs, nares a little bit less, but you know, uh, down smash and up, up tilt, we're significantly buffed. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, so, up tilt's crazy now. Like So yeah, he take you take it you take away, you know, one of the biggest like, you know, I think damage builders, but still like in return you get like a great up tilt out of it. Um honestly it just makes her a little more versatile, I feel like. You know, it yes. makes her a healthier character. So like it's not always just Nair, you know, Nair's still an amazing move, but you know you gotta rely on other stuff too. I think it's a really good change for her. Of course, big time. Um I'm trying to see like what could possibly happen here. Like I'm, I'm trying to see like what are like some of the adjustments that maybe Stock has been making, or what is the things that maybe Suarez could work on in case these these two face off again in Brands. Um, yeah, I don't know how the rest of the set was looking, but uh, you know, right now like, um, even even all that percent uh, racking on, you know, it was 190 before he got the kill, something like that. It seems like he just has a really good control over like the middle of the stage, and then when he pushes Suarez on ledge, it's just gets really difficult for him. So. Oh my God, 100 big, 100 difficult there. Uh, oh. Yeah, but jumping. sometimes, man, we hit that yellow stick at the bad guy. You know, <laughs> that's what I was saying, man. That that yellow C stick, or actually, you know, Suarez plays pro control. Yeah. Like, that's the right stick. It's that's the, the right, right stick, stick, as the my kids bad. say. My bad. My bad. You know, back in the day, it was the yellow. It was stick. the yellow stick. But yeah. now it's a, it's just a stick. Man. It's just a regular just stick. A stick. It's the it's the uh, gray stick or black stick, depending on. Actually, yeah, I think it's the gray or black stick. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a, I think it's like a black stick. Yeah. Because uh, depending the third on the party. controller, depending yeah, on the exactly. controller, he's yeah. the third party like wire controller. Like, ready? Oops. Oh wow, what for the down throw? Didn't go for the back throw. I guess it wasn't gonna. It wasn't like. Well, it wasn't gonna kill, but like. Uh. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of Palus like you know they're still going for it. It kind of confuses me like when it works and when it doesn't. Yeah. It looks like I, I think it looks like it's just like different. You know, like the way it works. So, oh yeah. Oh definitely. That's no, a bit harder to land. So. It's a bit harder to land, I, but I still think like down throw fair is a thing. Abs I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not that in tune with the Palu, uh, uh, the Palu nerfs and buffs. You know, just just yeah. generally from playing against her, it yeah, feels exactly. like the back air is not as much of a threat. So yeah, all right, the dash attack's dash attack is though. Yeah. Dash attack is still still got the sauce. Like it's oh still got it's so still good. got cheese. Still got that invincibility. It's yeah. a good fast option. It's hard to react to, and it kills, man. It's, it, got, it's got all of it. It definitely kills, man. Like my God, like this is scary. Oh, another egg. Nothing yet. Nothing for the. Uh, Suarez a little hungry for a diner dash right there, but um. F tilt. You know, Suarez is one of the few players that can pull off the diner death, though. You know, if there's one player that can just kind of pull off getting a nice read, getting a nice smash attack, it's Suarez. He's very, very good at just reading people's aggressive options and muting them for it. So, yeah, exactly. You know, if he can catch Stock Taker just extending a little bit, you know, oh. that'd be really good. And that was an SD, but I mean, he still did have the bases covered with the Nair. 50%, yeah. this is very doable when Yoshi combo ties it up. Well, exactly. That was like the biggest thing that I was like saying also is that Suarez is like. 
one of the most clutch players here on Long Island. Oh my actually. god, he's so clutch, dude. Like I, I mean, I know you train with this guy, but you know, Mojo has been uh, on the receiving uh, end of <laughs> of, of yeah, Suarez comeback. I know. Tom was like, he was like, he was. Yeah, that was a. We were just like, oh my god, oh up there killed the eighty. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, and then he threw an egg at it just to wrap it up, wrap a bow on it. And then sometimes his character, you know, he could do some crazy stuff. He just takes you from zero to eighty for like it's like for like the smallest interaction. Like and that? right there, okay. You know, this is this is an even game. You know, uh, that was like 30, 40 percent just just, just right there, man. Off of two moves. Oh no, Ooh. bad grab. Oh, reads it. And oh, and he, he had the right idea. He covered his bases there. The back air was nice. Had the multi hit out. Okay, that was okay. That oh. was yeah. That was a little risky. It felt like where he was. It was like he was a little too far for that to work. I know yeah. what he was going for though. It made sense. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. I do. Feel, okay, yeah. I was about to say. I do feel like if Suarez gets his game, I do think that's a really big deal for him in this <laughs> set. I don't know if you're noticing the. Uh, so again, like I don't know if you're noticing this with uh, PS2. Um, we have a very special Valentine's Day. Uh, uh, very special Valentine's Day. Um, PS2. PS2. Really, I didn't even and, notice. And uh, I saw love is in the love air. Love is in yeah. the air, man. Uh, but it says when it says the current leader, it says. Um, it says uh, number one cutie instead of current leader. All right, works. And apparently, hilarious. apparently, I haven't been noticing it, but when you lose a stock, it says um, like heart is broken or something like that. Listen, I'm trying to get. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, just keep an, keep your eye out on the uh, on the scoreboard. Listen, I'm a Catherine fan. I'm looking for love is over, but you know. You know, I gotta get on Catherine. That's a game I've been meaning to play. Yeah, but, you know, try, 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 trying to beat a Son of Sparta DMC five first, but no, no Dante here yet. Yet, I'm definitely <laughs> looking for Dante. Just saying. <laughs> but we got, we got Palutena, we got Yoshi. We don't got no Devil May Cry characters on deck here. But no, we're not hearing Devil Trigger tonight, uh, unfortunately. But maybe one day, man. But these two looks like a, you know. Suarez trying to pull that trigger on the set. He got, yeah. he got that one game. That's something. Yeah, exactly. A again, like one thing is that Suarez might get like physically tilted, but he's able to like take that like minute in between the games and then bring himself back. Again, he still has that clutch factor. Like even when he's playing from behind, he still got it. He's still going. You know? Yeah, I definitely think like just as someone like I mean we've all played Su everyone that has played Suarez so many times. Oh yeah. As so, like if you have a lead against Suarez, it doesn't mean anything. No. Like, <laughs> like it really doesn't. Like it doesn't. No. Yeah. I want to take it. I want to just take a uh, you know a, a moment to say that. Uh, Yoshi back air ate the entirety of an auto radical. I just want to just t turn your attention to that for a second. Yoshi's got good moves. Yeah, Yoshi back got air is a good move. <laughs> All the aerial kits a good move. <laughs> you know, just saying this about Yoshi as a character, uh, I feel like a lot of the time, like I feel like for the first year of Ultimate, there was like a group of people that acknowledged him as very good, and then there was a lot of people who weren't sure. It feels like now everyone's just kind of like, yeah, this character's got stuff. Oh my and god, yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy people are realizing, you know, the, the abuse we have taken from this character. Yeah. For, for even when before Force he was a high tier. Whoa, you know? good parry. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, st st Jared's. Kind of, I think Jared's getting a little impatient right now. He's just trying to get something started here. And <gasps> yeah, he did amazing at the beginning of the stock. It just seems like you know, getting those kills. You know, it seems like maybe the way that uh, uh, Palutena kills is, is is different. Maybe it hurts in this matchup. Yeah, I could totally see Nair's like off stage being an amazing kill option in this matchup before. But that was a really nice straight back air. That was a great back air there. Um, okay, so now it's now it's even here. Uh, Jared managed to get off the ledge, and he's able to at least like pick himself up. And put try and maybe get himself some advantage here. Yes, and there we have it. Those are the nares. You know, like we said, not a kill tool. It's still an amazing combo tool. It's still amazing for catching jumps. Exactly. Still one of the best nares in the game. You can't be sleeping on it. You definitely can't be sleeping on it. Um, I know Stock has been using a little bit of the up tilt, a little bit of the down tilt. He's been using a lot more tilts. Um, I think more than his, his Palo normally does. He usually uses a lot of like uh, aerials and uh, grabs. So it's nice to see you know him mixing it up every now and then with a. Uh, with, a, with some tilts here, of course, the classic down tilt from ledge covers everything. But you know, yeah, like he like when he catches Suarez going like super duper high. Oh my god, God, he just he that was like he like back aired three times and he was dead. Hit every time, man. And I want to note too that the first time he tried to down throw back air, Suarez didn't air dodge or anything. He just jumped. He armored through it like yeah, like right that. that, literally right, right exactly there. like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, he knows that he could just escape out of that at those percents, but... Oh my god, yeah. You know, Jared, though, he... Uh, or Stock Tiger, he had that on point, you know? He had yeah. those arrows on point on Legend. That's what matters here. You can't let uh, you can't let Yoshi play the game. Yeah, you can't. And I can see where, like, where, um, where, like uh, PS2 is actually coming into effect here. Note how he's just using that, like, that platform just to stay away just from most of the er early options. If he mainly jumps, you know? But the thing is that Stock Tiger's reaction is so good. He just saw a neutral get-up and just said, okay, crap. 
Yeah. You know, sometimes that's what the game's all about. You know, like sometimes uh, my people are like, oh, what I do wrong? It's like sometimes it comes down to just getting someone in disadvantage and reacting and playing it properly, you know? Yeah, big time. Yeah, and it seems like, you know, that's really what Stock Taker's doing right now. He's just taking this lead and he's really, really stretching it out. Mm. Okay, down tilt. He has a double jump. Yep, got a down B. I like the decision from Stock Taker. <gasps> that's no, it. Yeah, that's he totally tried it. really hard for that one. That was definitely a, a good attempt there to try and catch Jared rushing, but I think that's one of the few things that Stock Taker doesn't really do. He doesn't really rush unless he's like down 2-0. Yeah, I think I think he's I think he's known that he's he's kind of one of those players that I feel like he uh, his game style or like his play style like that is really big. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> big water. Big water is big, not in the building. Big, yeah, yeah, big water right here. Big water. Shout yeah, out to Ag. Sh shout sh out to, yeah. to Ag. Shout out to Big Water. Shout outs to. Uh, yeah, we, we hydrate. We, we hydrate. We, we hydrate, hydrate. Of course. We hydrate. Hey Sage, can I get one of those big 